with um, there's too many cameras. I'm I'm getting like nervous as well. <laughs> I know. Well, it's we're just telephones. I know. Okay. So um, I'm going to introduce Joan, but I just wanted to share about how we got to meet. So yes. I was uh, completing my PhD thesis and I was looking at the image of Bukowski because I felt like his uh, his photographs mattered. Uh, for his publishing, and then I, I dug and I dug, and then I found Joan <laughs> and her website, and I, I, I emailed her. I was like, she's never going to reply, and she responded right away, and she was very, very happy to talk about Bukowski and to share her knowledge. And unfortunately, my thesis was almost completed, so I didn't have time to add everything into uh, into it. But I always felt like. We need to do something about you <laughs> and your art and your photographs. So when the day came that we organized this conference, we decided with Sophie that it would be great to add this exhibit to uh, to the whole uh, conference. So I'm very very happy to have you here, and uh, I'm going to talk about your work now. So John Ganesh is a writer who makes photographs of the people she writes about. She was born in New York City, raised in Hollywood, and has been based in Amsterdam since 1987. Her mother, Adele, was a glamour photographer who put a camera in her hand when she was five. Sorry. Uh, Joan started her career as a journalist in the mid-70s, freelancing for the LA Times, Los Angeles Magazine, Penthouse, Viva. I was like, this is not Viva. <laughs> Making interviews with Henry Miller, John Baz, I'm not sure about that, and Muhammad Ali, among many others. She is the author of three poetry chapbooks, 12 poems. Uh, this one I'm not sure, so domestic landscapes and. And other terrain. Okay, and, and other trains, yeah. and other terrain, yeah. and once on one, one change, sorry, as well as an award winning children's book author. Uh, for Elusive Moose, Moose sorry, Hidden Hippo, uh, published at Barefoot Books. And uh, sh she's also a respected jazz and pop lyricist. So you do it all. Um, <laughs> she recently completed a memoir, One Way Ticket, and for the past 70, 17 years, she has, been, she has taught creative writing at a private Dutch college. So, Joan, the floor is yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm extremely nervous, uh, and it's probably being in the com company of Mr. B and these color photos that I've never seen until, you know, this week framed two, two days ago. And uh, I couldn't do my yoga this morning, and with Abel's energy <laughs> over here, I'm going to just read this poem I wrote two weeks ago for a jazz musician, and um, just woke up and wrote it. It'll help me, and maybe it'll help you. It's just some, you know, for those that didn't do their yoga. It's all chi. When there's a mastery to the mystery and a synergy fueled by the energy, the yin meets the yang, the beyond storm and drama, anticipation, deliberation, concentration, communication. The silence and the syncopation you dig, listening with the third ear, the vision of the third eye, the you, the me, the surrealist we, <clears throat> the musical equations, the sweet sensations, and in the end, it's all chi. Thank you. I feel better. Thank you. <laughs>